Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on this uh, first Daily Prayers in the season of Advent. It is when we're anticipating the coming of Christmas, so we've got something to look forward to and there's a preparedness about this. But we also reflect on the final coming of Christ at Judgment and uh, our own preparedness and attentiveness to that coming too. Jesus says, be awake, always be ready. So in our prayers, we want to be that way and uh, be prepared for him. So there's a couple of extra readings that we'll do, and I'll invite you to join in prayer if you want to. And as I mentioned this morning in our 10 o'clock service, you can pick up one of these in the cathedral this week, if you like. This is our Advent 2020. It's got uh, some prayers, a variety of different prayers in that we'll be using during um, our readings and reflections during Advent and our daily prayers. So please feel free. They're free. Just go in. There should be one at the back of the cathedral or go into the office and ask for one. And I'm going to be using today uh, on page 14, our morning prayer for use at home. I'm going to start actually with a psalm. Considering yes, yesterday when I was talking about um, Advent to, to have a season of thankfulness, uh, that we come and we count our blessings. This psalm is the psalm reading for today, and uh, it is about praise and thankfulness. So we come with thankful hearts to God. So let's reflect on this psalm. Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with the psalm. God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather, as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. That's Psalm 47. Now, just for a moment, I want you to just think on your weekend and anything that you want to thank God for today. Just draw those things into your mind as you come with a thankful heart. What would you like to thank God for today? And as we bring those things before God, I'm going to use, as I said, page 14 in our prayer book. And you might like to follow on if you've got it and you can respond in your home. Etifano, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal spirit, flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, Alleluia. And there are two other readings in our lectionary today. And the first one comes from Ezekiel 47. It's one of my favourite passages in the Old Testament. It reminds us of God's river flowing out. And I imagine God's river flowing out from our cathedral to nourish the city in spiritual life and harvest. So let's reflect on that. Ezekiel 47. Then he brought me back to the door of the temple and behold, water was issuing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. The water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east. And behold, the water was trickling out on the south side. Going on eastward with a measuring line in his hand, the man measured a thousand cubits and then led me through the water and it was ankle deep. Again, he measured a thousand and led me through the water and it was knee deep. Again, he measured a thousand and led me through the water and it was waist deep. Again, he measured a thousand and it was a river that I could not pass through for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in a river that could not be passed through. And he said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he led me back to the bank of the river. 
As I went back, I saw on the bank of the river very many trees on one side and the other. And he said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah and enters the sea. When the water flows into the sea, the water will become fresh. And wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live. And there will be very many fish. For this water goes there, that the waters of the sea may become fresh, so everything will live wherever the river goes. Fishermen will stand beside the sea, from Engedi to Eniglaim. It will be a place for the spreading of nets. Its fish will be of very many kinds, like the fish of the great sea. But its swamps and marshes will not become fresh, they are left to be salt. And on the banks on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail. They will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing. What a great vision from Ezekiel 47. And then there is a second reading, which is in John 12 today in our reading for this day in Advent. John 12 verse 20. Now, among those who went up to worship at the feast, there were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honour him. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. And as we come to prayer, holding that, great image of the river flowing and nourishing everything, and Jesus, the one who draws all people to himself, the giver of life. We come and bring our day before him in the examen, and if you have the booklet, feel free to make the responses that are in the booklet. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you, Lord, have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help us to live the day with you in the centre. You call us together as your body. Help us to share the day well with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help us to share good news with the last, the lost and the least. Amen. Now we bring any prayers or concerns that we might have before God. 
So I just invite you to be still and if you've got your journal with you and again, the places or names of people that you've jotted down in your journal, then please feel free to open it up and hold them up to God so that he will see and hear and respond to our prayers. Let's pray. We first come to pray for the nations of the world and we pray for peace and an end to violence. We pray for leaders, leaders of the nations. We pray for a smooth transition in the presidency of America and for peace in that country. For when there is peace in that country, there is peace in the world. We pray for troubled spots in the world, for Ethiopia, for Afghanistan, for Iran and Iraq. We continue to pray for a stemming of the tide of COVID-19 and that these vaccines will be successful. We recognise that we have been humbled through this process. So we cry out to you, O oh God, for healing. Guide our leaders, help them to, them to act with wisdom, with compassion and mercy and with equity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray we're called to pray for the peace of our city in which we live. So we pray for Wellington or pray for your city, wherever you're living. It's well-being, it's shalom. We pray for those who lead the city, as community organisations, health service and education. We pray for the flourishing of our communities and our city. Help us to be neighbourly and in this season of Advent to act with mercy and compassion and encouragement towards others. We pray for those on our street, to our right and to our left and across the road. We pray your blessing upon them and help us to be your witnesses to them in this season. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we bring any prayers for those who are in need of healing or comfort or suffered from bereavement, are struggling and wrestling with something. You will know people yourself that uh, are on your heart or you may have written in your journal. Well, again, please feel free in this moment. I'll pause and mention the names of those people or describe them. Just bring them to God and we'll hold them up together. Now, all those that those of you have spoken out today and you've held in your mind, we collect them up, O oh Lord, and we lift them up to you and we pray your healing upon them. We pray particularly for those who have struggled through um, oppression, who are caught on borders, who have lost loved ones, whether through violence or disease or tragedy. We pray for those caught in slavery and we pray for freedom and liberation for them. And we pray that we will play our part in bringing healing and recovery to the nations and to peoples. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then let's offer ourselves. I encourage you, you can think of your day. We've done that in the examen. But you might like to hold your hands out just before you and your, imagine your life is in your hands and place it at the feet of the cross of Jesus and entrust Jesus with your life. So we're going to do that now. Please join me if you want to. O oh Lord, I take my life and I place it at your feet. I trust you in this season of Advent, indeed in all seasons, but I trust you now with my life my future, my family, my work, my home. All the things that I'm facing, I bring before you. And I trust you, I entrust them into your care. Thank you that you care about me. 
you care about each one of us. And we offer ourselves to you today and ask that you'll grant us your blessing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then finally, let's say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And a prayer of blessing as we prepare to go our way on this day. May the Creator bless us and keep us. May the beloved companion face us and have mercy upon us. May the Eternal Spirit's countenance be turned to us and give us peace. May the Three in One bless us. The Divine Spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining us this morning. I invite you, if you've got a few minutes longer, just to be still in God's presence and to let him nourish you for this day. So still yourself just a few minutes and let him take you and guide you. You'll notice in the prayer book in here that we've got this order, there's some suggestions for things that you could do today. Acts of compassion and acts of thanksgiving. Acts of kindness like an advent calendar where you can act in kindness towards others so why not use these today and take an opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else hope you have a good day and wish you all the best all the way through this week and we'll join you in prayer and another one of the days in this week thanks for joining us today bless you